Once upon a time, in a golden land where the grass swayed like waves in the wind, there lived a lion named Leo. But Leo wasn't like other lions, no, no. He was known far and wide, not for his strength, but for his wisdom. Animals from all around would come to him for advice. One morning, a little fawn named Fina wandered too far from her herd. She was curious, you see, and the sights and smells of the savannah were so tempting. But soon enough, Fina realized she was lost. Poor Fina's little heart pounded with fear. The savannah seemed so big, and she felt so very small. Mom? Mom? Where are you? Why do you cry, little one? I... I'm lost. I don't know where my family is, and I can't find my way back. The savannah can be a tricky place for someone as small as you. But do not worry, little one. You're never truly alone, even when you feel lost. Sometimes, we don't need to rely on our eyes. The world speaks to us in many ways, Fina. Close your eyes and listen. But I can't see the way. How will I ever find my family again? Really listen. Listen deeper. The savannah will guide you if you let it. Don't rush. Just breathe and feel the world around you. That's and so, Fina closed her eyes and took a deep breath. She listened, not just to the sounds, but to the rhythm of the savannah itself. And soon, in the distance, she heard a familiar sound, the soft bleeding of her herd calling out for her. I can hear them. It's my herd. You see, you were never truly alone. The world leaves clues if we stop to listen and trust our hearts. With Leo guiding her, Fina followed the sound step by step, until at last she saw her family in the distance. Her mother ran to her, nuzzling her with relief and joy. But when Fina turned to thank the wise lion, he had already slipped away into the tall grass, as quiet as a shadow. All that was left was his wise words floating in the wind. When you feel lost, stay calm, and the world will always guide you home. And from that day on, Fina knew she'd never be truly lost, so long as she stayed calm and listened to the world around her. Hey, little dreamers, did you enjoy tonight's bedtime adventure? If you want more magical tales and exciting adventures, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.